we will continue with our last topic that is decision making chapter in this program we will check whether the entered character is alphabet or a digit or symbol first we will include header files here we will require one variable that is data type care suppose ch variable we are taking accept any character in this variable with the help of a scanf function we have to use percent c specifier to check the keys pressed on a keyboard we have to use a ascii value concept here as computer language is zeros and ones so for each and every key a number value is denoted we have to check those numbers if the user presses between a to z that is lower case or upper case then the series of ascii value will be ch greater than equals to 65 and ch less than equals to 90 for upper case we have to use a or operator here and once again check the value the upper case value will be from 97 to 122 so if anyone presses the character in this series then it will be a alphabet next l safe apart from 65 to 90 and 97 to 122 user presses the number series then ascii value for a number key is 48 and ch less than equals to 57 so it will be a digit which number you have pressed to display that just concat with ch in else part we will just have a statement it is a symbol as the rest of the keys are symbol keys which symbol you have pressed just concat with ch variable as we are storing the value inside ch variable we will just complete the program by applying get ch and closing braces we will just have a preview for this program press control f9 to check if any errors are there we have found no errors just press any alphabet suppose a c a it is a alphabet if you run the program once again suppose any number if you press c 8 it is a digit to clear the previous text just apply clear screen after variable declaration now if you press a sign suppose plus sign see it is a symbol so with the help of ascii values we can trace out which key has been pressed from a keyboard 
In this example, we have covered the concept about ASCII values and the else if part. If more than two statements we have to check, then we can continue instead of writing if again and again else if part can be used. Thanks a lot for watching HIIT Computer video tutorials.